bro. I'm not even lying, bro. I dunked on that man in gym today, bro. I, like, I wasn't even trying, bro. Like, I, I was a whoo whoo whoo. Whole gym just went crazy, bro. All right, class. Get into it now. Sit my down. Sit down there before I kick somebody's ass right here. Sydney! Sydney, wait. Here you go. Get your ass right here. I got a bit like Jordan, bro. Like, I was just. I had this hung in thing, bro. I was up there. Boom, boy. I was, bro. I was really up there. All right, Jonathan. Bro, I didn't know, know I had hops like that. Didn't have, didn't have. Shut the hell up and listen. I just said you was being too loud. Why are you yelling, Mr. Johnson? Is you deaf? Legally, I am. I hate this damn class. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Now, here are your tests back. Congratulations. Every last one of you is stupid. And you are a disgrace to humanity. Your mama. Your parents ought to be ashamed. My parents been ashamed. They ain't nothing new. You wanna know what I find funny? <laughs> Everybody got something to say. But you know something? Ask me this. Did you wanna talk so damn much? How the hell did everybody fail? You a badass Huh? Rufus? Just cause you got the name of a dog, don't mean they gotta think like one. Sydney? Spelling your own damn name wrong. Are you serious, Sydney? The whole damn class failed. Every single last one of you are failures. And you're not gonna amount to a goddamn thing. And you can tell your mama I said it. Why are you yelling? I throw this damn desk. Anyway, seeing as though none of you are worth a damn. I am worth a damn. I was able to not only beg for my job back, but I was able to get you heathens a second chance. Oh you're welcome. The retake will be on Friday. If you fail, <laughs> I get fired. I'm a fair no And guess what? If I get fired, I can promise you this. I will bust every single last one of you little snotty nose dummies right in your damn lip. I'm gonna sue your ass. Am I clear? I swear to God, Marcus, I've been wanting to knock the head out. Finally, man. Finally. Oh, that's the bell. Okay, everybody out. You ain't got to go home, but you got to get the hell up out of here. Leave me to weep in peace. Dang, man. I can't take this back home to Pop. I already know what he gonna say. I can hear him now. Elf? How the hell you get an elf? You know what? F is right, cause I'm about to put my foot up your ass. And Bobby, you keep your big ass out that lunchroom. Lunch ain't for 12.30. You know what? I'ma make him proud. I'ma study really hard. Harder than I ever have before. And not only am I gonna get an A, I'ma get 100%. And I put that on God. I mean that. Hey, little boy, excuse me. Yes, I can't leave till you leave, so I'ma need you to remove yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> you watch, Mr. Johnson. I'ma make you proud. You watch. <laughs> yeah, right. And I'm going to win the lottery. And I'm going to become a Badillion Contrillionaire. The hell my classroom. Come on, you, you ain't got an F on every test. Come. Hey, damn kids, boy. Time for this. 
for this. I went to school for 30 years. Be a goddamn teacher. Go disrespect me right here. I'm gonna have enough of this. Damn kids make me sick. What's going on, Miss Johnson? Damn, let his ass go. When you gonna pick your head? Oh, don't look so shot now. You know exactly what this is. It's your damn test. Yeah, I ain't even gotta look at it. I already know I got an A plus. Shut your ass up. They heard you fail. That boy D got a Z minus. How the hell? Hold up. Hey, Miss Johnson, come on. Now, this ain't fair. I studied all night. Oh, you wanna talk about not fail? Well, goddamn, I tell you what's not fair. What's not fair is losing your damn job because a bunch of dummies can't pass a damn test. I don't understand. You got a long time call me damn dumb. Goddamn, I told y'all. I told y'all. I said, if I get fired, it's gonna be here to pay. Y'all want to know the line. Uh, Miss Johnson, I don't think you can fight students. Oh, trust me, it ain't gonna be much of a fight. Somebody help! Bro, come on, man. Where's this dude at, bro? He told me 9 o'clock. It's almost 10 30, man. Black folk always do that, man. Don't make no. See, bro, this how this how black people be getting killed in the movies, bro. God, please don't let this man be crazy. Make no damn sense. It's always something with black folk, man. Make no damn sense. Why the hell are we in the middle of the woods anyway? Hey, bro, you Reggie? Hey, cuz, I'm gonna use my government name out here. What the hell wrong with you? All right, my bad. Hey, cuz. What? I said, Bro, what is you saying? What the hell? I'm talking in cold, cuz. What the hell are you talking in cold for? Hey, goddamn, I don't know who listening. For all I know, you could be wearing a wire. What the hell? Bro, I'm not buying drugs, I'm buying shoes. Who and why would they be listening? Hey, cuz, hold up, bro. You don't know what I had to do to get these right here. These are 1975, Air Jordan, Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Nike Air Max Dunk 2000s. I put my life on the line for these. I'd die for this, cuz. You, you would die for some shoes. Cuz I'd die for these shoes. Ride for these shoes. Put up a slide for these shoes. Do prison time for these shoes, cuz. You stole them shoes, didn't you? I plead the fifth. All right, bro. All right, all right. Just. Just give me the shoes, bro. Hey, hold up, cuz. Where my $500 at? F $500? You told me $325. Oh, that was before the delivery fee. Delivery fee? Hell yeah, delivery fee. I had to bring them to you, didn't I? Man, your damn delivery fee is $175? Hey, goddamn, I know you been seeing them gas prices. Gas getting expensive. Where you live at? All in right down. Hey, cuz, don't worry about that. Do you or do you not want your shoes, cuz? All right, bro. Dang, man. I bet. Here, bro. All right. Whoo wee! Yes, sir. Whoo! All right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, Cole, what you doing? What the hell, bro? I'm trying to see the shoes. What you mean? Man, you open them out here? Why not? Cause they could be watching. Who could be watching? The people. What people? Them people. All right, bro. All right. I had enough of this. I, I look at them when I get home. Damn. Yeah, you do that. Hey, bro, how'd I get back to the... What the hell is... Yeah, that's my cue to go. What hell wrong with people, man? Make no damn sense. That's why I stay in the house. That's why I don't go outside now, because people... What the hell? You're crazy. Oh, hell no. I don't play like that. Oh, hell no. Money, money, money. A few moments later. What the? the hell wrong with the damn remote? Hey, Dad, guess what? You got a job. No? You moving out of my house. Nuh-uh. Megan is staying. That's how I waiting on me. Uh... 
No. Oh, hell, boy, you ain't talking about nothing. Dad, listen, in this box, I got something amazing. Well, damn it, if it ain't money, I don't want it. No, Dad, this is better than money. I got the 1975 Air Jordan, Stephen Curry, LeBron James, Kobe Bryant, Nike, Air Max, Dunk 2000s. You lying. Dad, I swear. Stop playing. Dad, I'm dead serious. You really got them? Yes, Dad, I really got them. <gasps> I don't give a damn. I don't even know what the hell that is. What, Dad? These are the best shoes known to man. They cost me $500. <laughs> $500? What the hell it come with? An extra foot? What? No, Dad, look, okay, okay, let me show you, let me show you. Alright. <laughs> Is you great? This boy done lost his damn mind. You don't spend $500 on some damn tennis pumps? <laughs> Dad, what is a titty pump? Dur, 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 now is not the time to be a smart ass. I'm three seconds away from punching a damn hole in your chest. Dad, look, I promise you it's gonna be worth it, okay? All right, all right. You, here we go, here we go, here we go. <laughs> well? Come on, Dad, man, this ain't even funny, man. <laughs> you, you're right, you're right. It ain't funny. It's hilarious. <laughs> you, you, you spent five hundred dollars on some bricks. I could have got you somebody about the backyard. <laughs> Dad, this is not funny, man. <laughs> you, you're right. I'm sorry. I know this is hard for you. <laughs> Get it? Go bricks is hard. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. Ooh, I'm done. I'm done. Ooh, ooh, tough crowd tonight, boy. Feel like I'm talking to a brick wall. <laughs> Dad. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm done. I'm, I'm done for real. I'm done. I'm done for Thank real. Thank you. Done. Ooh. I ain't get my money back, man. <laughs> but son, listen here. I can guarantee you one thing. You gonna be the freshest on the block. <laughs> that was a good one. That was I'm running away. <laughs> oh, come on, son. Come on, son. I'm just playing with you. Don't be such a square. <laughs> hey, coach. How I'm doing out there? I'm doing good? I, I, am I winning? I'm winning, right? What's going on? I, I can, can I go home yet? You're doing great out there. You just keep doing what you're doing. And don't forget to bob and weave. You can still win this thing. I believe in you. All you gotta do is catch him with his guard down. Bop bop! Then it'll be all over. You can go home and get you some ice cream. Hell no, you ain't winning. You're getting your ass kicked out there. What the hell you think you're doing? That ain't what we practice. Why you keep throwing your face into his fist like that? I ain't teach you that. Remember what I told you? Bob weave? Damn, damn. Oh damn, my bad. Coach, what you doing? You see him fight right now? What you hit me for? Suck it up. You be alright. Stop all that damn crying. You man. I like it. Coach, I don't know if I can do this. This man is too fast. He's too strong. He didn't hit me in my head. I think I got a concussion. I'm seeing stars, son. I don't think I can do this, coach. What, 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 what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? I don't wanna do this no more. Don't you ever say you can't. You can do whatever you put your mind to. The Bible say you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Boy, do you understand you got the strength of God? You can do this. Don't give up. Whether you win or lose, son, the most important thing is that you had fun and you tried your best. You know what? You got damn right. You ain't gonna win. You suck. You a loser. You despicable. You're absolutely pitiful. All that damn time we wasted in training. For what? For you to come out here and get your ass beat. And now you want to give up. Well, guess what? It's too late. The fight already started. So get your soft ass back out there. Either you gonna knock him out, or I'm gonna knock you out. And not put that on guard. Okay, coach. Can I get some water at least? I feel like I'm about to die. I need some water. I'm dehydrated, coach. My, my lips dry. You see, I got... I, I need some water, coach. Yeah. I need some water, coach. Can I get some water at least? Yeah, of course. Here you go. Make sure you drink all of that. Hydration is important. No, you can't get no water. You wanna know why? Cause water is for winners. Matter of fact, look at the scoreboard. Do it say winner beside your name? Let me answer that for you. No, the hell it don't. You got to earn your water. And you ain't earned it yet. But coach, what if I pass out? You better not. Well, let me tell you something. Whether you pass out or not is not my problem. If you was winning, you would have some damn water. So tell me this. Who problem is that? Exactly. Now go out there and earn it. Until then, you better drink that damn sweat. You know what, coach? You're right! That's what I'm talking about! You can do it! Go out there and have fun! 
How's it going? I was just calling to see if you guys were open. And if so, what are your hours for today? First and foremost, sir, I'm blessed as hell. Thanks for asking. Secondly, that's a great question. You're darn tootin' we're open. We're open every day, Monday through Sunday, just to make sure that you have everything you need to be a satisfied customer. I can guarantee you, we'll be here every day from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. Matter of fact, just in case you can't make it on time, I'll stay here until midnight just for you. It's my duty to make sure as a value customer that you're taken care of. As a matter of fact, you got a way to get here? You need a ride? I can go get my keys right now. All right, I just want to make sure you have a great experience with us. I look forward to seeing you soon, buddy. You be blessed as hell. Are we open? No, I'm, I'm just here answering the phone for fun. Did you not just hear me answer the damn phone? What kind of question is that? I swear to God, bro, I just got here. Don't start that. You ain't doing nothing but wasting my damn time. You could have Googled that. And let me tell you something. I don't know what they hours are, but my hours off from 8 to 2, and my four of them going to be spent in the bathroom. Oh, guard, bro, I ain't trying to do no work today, so don't even come up here, bro. You keep your ass at home till about 2 o'clock. Matter of fact, make it 2.30. I was late this morning, so I got to make that time up. But after that, I don't give a damn where you go, who you know, what you're doing. All I know is I'm going to be gone, headed home. So leave me alone and get the hell off this phone. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, sorry to bother you. Do you work here? Well, absolutely I work here. I wouldn't want to work anywhere else. This is the best job in the world. Just look at how happy I am. No need to apologize. You want to ask me a question? I love answering customer questions. That's what they pay me for. To serve you. Come on, give me some work to do. What do you need? Need me to take something to your car? Need me to walk you to the other side of the store to find something? Need me to <laughs> whip your children? Need me to bury your body? Whatever it is, the answer is yes, sir. No problem. I can do that for you. I mean, do I work here? Why do you keep asking me these stupid ass questions? You know what? No, no. I, I don't work here. I just bought this damn shirt off of Amazon. I stole me a name tag and came here to stack boxes for free. You stupid or something? What the hell it look like? Get away from me, bro. I ain't got time for this, man. I swear to God, don't even talk to me, bro. Oh, God, bro. I ain't answering no questions. I ain't going to get nothing from the back. I ain't helping you take nothing to your car. I got 30 minutes till I get off, bro. So real talk, on God. If you ain't trying to get Will Smith slapped around right here, I suggest you get out of my face. Would you mind checking to see if you have any more of these in the back? This was the last one on the floor. Bam! Oh my god! That is completely unacceptable. Of course I can check for you. I'll see to it personally that you get exactly what you're looking for. You wait right here. I'll be back. I can't believe this. Can't find it anywhere. God damn it, team, this is unacceptable. I cannot believe this at all. Where is the location? Ah! Oh my god! We're completely sold out. What am I gonna tell the customer? <laughs> there has to be another way. I know what to do. I know exactly what to do. I'm so sorry, sir. Unfortunately, we seem to be completely sold out. But I tell you what, don't you worry your little head. There's a store only four hours away that has some available. So I tell you what, you get comfortable, take a load off. I'll take care of everything for you. Okay? Hell yes, I mind. God damn it, if it ain't on the floor, we ain't got it. Let me get this straight. You want me to stop what I'm doing, go all the way to the back room to find something for your ass. And that's the crazy part. I ain't getting no extra money for it. You lost your damn mind. I get off in 30 minutes, bro. As far as I'm concerned, you can take that drink and you can shove it up. Hey, Juwan, come up here and jump on this register for me. Let me see it. I go find it for you. I can't hop on the register right now. I'm with a customer. I'm going to go check for you. Yeah. Hey, 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 bro, when I said Kiosha came in in some tights, bro, she came in in some tights, bro, that booty was moving. I was like, damn, I wish Daryl was here. Oh, damn, it's time to go. Oh, yeah, we ain't got no more. Okay, thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Do you mind telling me where the bread is? Well, yes, I sure can. I can tell you where everything in the store is. The cereal, aisle three. Ooh, the rice is on aisle seven. The candy's on aisle five. The condoms on aisle nine. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but sir, to answer your question, the bread is on aisle four. You know how to get there? You just go out this way, make a left, make a right, make a U-turn, and it's gonna be right there. Matter of fact, you know what? Come on, get up my back. I'll take you myself. Yeah! Bro, it's signs on top of every aisle that tell you what's on it, bro. I'm not finna show you with nothing there, cuz. Get my face, bro. Use your eyes. Bro, it literally tell you right there. Let's use our eyes together. Eye full. Peanut butter, condiments, bread. Why y'all keep asking me these stupid ass questions? Just look for it. It ain't that hard. I get off in 30 minutes, bro. Ain't nobody got time for this game, bro. Get my face. Thank you so much. You've been super helpful. Are you guys allowed to take tips? No, sir. Absolutely not. It's against company policy. And even if we could, I wouldn't take it. Because I don't do this for the money. I do this for the amazing customers like yourself. You said what? Hell yeah, I take tips. Matter of fact, if you ain't got cash, I take Venmo. I take Cash App. I take PayPal. I take Food Stamps. Hell, I take a coupon if it's free. Damn, with this company, they got money. I'm the one struggling. Do I take tips?
Abs are goddamn loony. <laughs> oh my god, mommy, look at Santa! Ho, ho, ho. Hey, that little boy with a whole beard. Merry Christmas. Your mama told me you've been a good boy this year. Really? So you're not mad at me for setting the house on fire? How the hell you? <clears throat> um, of course not. Santa's very forgiving. I mean, you didn't mean to set the house on fire, right? Uh, can you repeat the question? You, you little evil. <clears throat> You know what? It's okay. Your mama told me you've been an angel this year, so I'm gonna make sure you have a great Christmas. Even though I drowned my- Yes, even though you did that. And I'm pretty sure you did something else. I'm gonna make sure you have a good Christmas. So come up here and take this picture and tell Santa what you want me to bring you, okay? Is that? Oh, hell no. Somebody come get this little boy. Your mama told me about you. You a little heathen. You the devil himself in the flesh. I don't even know what the hell she brought you up in here. Santa ain't got a damn thing for you. Only thing you getting from Santa this year is a black eye. Ho, ho, ho. Boy, you got a whole beard and mustache. Boy, how old you is? I'm 11. <laughs> I'm mature for my age. Security, come get this grown ass man up out of here. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Are you really real? Well, of course I'm real, little boy. I am Santa Claus. And I'm here to give you an amazing Christmas. Matter of fact, I know everything about you. I know when you're sleeping. I know when you're awake. I know if you've been bad or good. So be good, for goodness sake. That's me. I wrote that song. See, they didn't tell you Santa was black. But here I am, bringing holiday cheer. Am I really real? What the hell kind of question? I tell you what, tell me if this makes sense. I'm an old ass man. I live in the North Pole where it's cold as hell. I got an army of elves that build toys. I got a sleigh with a motor in it. I got a pack of flying reindeer. And on Christmas Eve, between the hours of about 10 p.m. and 6 a.m., I fly across the globe with billions of presents. I go to every single house on earth, slide my big ass down the chimney. Who the hell you know still got a chimney? Sneak through your house like a criminal and drop off presents. All for free. Then I get back in my sleigh, fly back to the North Pole, and go back home without ever being seen. Not one time. Now, little boy, does that sound real to you? Uh-huh. Damn it, what about now? Ah! Okay, Santa, so for Christmas, I want a Lego set, I want a Lamborghini, I want a PS5, I want a pony, I want an airplane. Well, you know what, little boy? If that's what you want, that's what you gonna get. You deserve it. It's my duty to make sure you get everything you asked for. As a matter of fact, I'll get my elf started on that right away. Little boy, I'm gonna get you the most beautiful Corvette you've ever- You mean Lamborghini? That's what I said. Don't correct Santa Claus. I'm gonna get you the most beautiful Lamborghini you ever seen. Just wait till Christmas. It's gonna be amazing. You wanna let who the hell told y'all Santa got this kind of money? This stuff ain't free. Little boy, Santa don't get no discount. Santa is broke. Hell, I'm only here because they paying me. Santa Claus is in debt. And you want to know what happens when Santa Claus don't pay his bills? The people come and they take Santa's sleigh away. And then ain't nobody getting no gifts. And Christmas will be canceled. Therefore, all of your toys will be coming from the dollar store. So deal with it. Talking about a Lego set and a Lamborghini. <laughs> hell, let me hold something. Times is tough. Hey Santa, can I pet the reindeer? You know what, little boy? I would let you pet them, but they so tired. You know, after flying here and flying there, they just needed a nap. So I told them they could take the night off. But you can pet them next time, though. I promise. <laughs> I mean, you can if you want to. You better be careful. They ain't had nothing to eat in a long time. They might just take a bite out of your little ass. They'll pass your arms and legs around like a buffet. Especially Rudolph. You ever wonder why his nose is red? That come from all the blood he been sucking out of bad little kids like your ass. Oh, okay, well I guess I'll leave him alone. Good. Cause Santa ain't got no insurance. He ain't paying for nobody medical bills either. Okay, bye Santa. I'll be waiting for you on Christmas Eve. Ho, ho. All right, little boy, I'll see you soon. Remember, I can't come till you go to sleep. So don't wait up for me. Have a Merry Christmas. You better get you some rest. Here, stay away from me if you want to. You're going to be disappointed when you find out it's your mama buying you all them damn gifts. <laughs> there you, boy. <laughs> My bad. I mean, hell, you gotta learn sometime. Hey, little boy. Life is full of disappointments. Get used to it. Merry Christmas. Take your ass over there and cry. Next! Bro, I swear, bro, I've never seen anything more beautiful in my life. Is we looking at the same thing? Yeah, bro, look at it. It's a masterpiece. You see this? A master what? Look like somebody wiped their ass with it. Woo! Man, you know how much this painting is worth? Yeah, about a dollar fifty. <laughs> Bro, this painting is worth one point two million dollars. One point two million dollars for this shit. Hey, bro, hey, um, can you just keep your money? Man, hold the hell on. You mean to tell me people pay this kind of money for these ugly ass paints? Oh, well, goddamn, excuse my broke ass. Hell, I would've made this if I know y'all was throwing money away like that. Y'all must be rich, rich. Matter of fact, hey, goddamn, somebody give me some tissue. I bet I can make you one just like it. And it's gonna be high and fresh. And we can start the bidding right now at 400,000. In the takers? Since we just throwing away money, must have lost y'all damn mind talking about $1.2 million for this piece of garbage. I oughta throw this damn thing in the trash. Matter of fact, who painted it? I wanna know who painted it. It was me, I made it. I painted it. Yes, I did. But goddamn it, your work is garbage. And y'all to be ashamed. $1.2 million for this trash. Security. I done beat your ass in here. You get Hell, I'm about to quit my damn job. Now what? We
got a problem up here? I know what I'm finna do. I'm finna give me a t-shirt, wipe my ass, and put it on some canvases. And come sell it to y'all. Where is the hell? I'm making $10 an hour. Y'all making millions off of doo-doo paper. I don't know him. Please escort this hooligan outside. Come on, it's a masterpiece. A masterpiece of shit. Woo. No best friend. We killing him. No new friends. Get rid of them. Hootie dude. Hey, man. What's wrong with you? Hey, bro, can you pass me the soap? Man, hell no. Have you lost your mind? Damn. You right, that's nasty. I should have brought my own soap, huh? Bro, what are you doing in my shower? Well, I was trying to wash my ass when you cut the water off. You mind if we switch sides? You damn right I mind. Who, who told you this was okay? Well, see, this is how we showered in prison. See, and we saving water. Think of it like this. Think of it like a carpool, but like the bathtub version. So, uh, <clears throat> you gonna pass me the soap, or Get out! All right, bro. Damn. I'm trying to lower your water bill. It's ungrateful. Damn. What's wrong with people, man? Can't get no privacy. Ain't no damn sense. Man, I swear. Oh, yo, come on, man. What are you doing? Oh. Oh. I should have never ate that Taco Bell, bro. Bro, what are you still doing? Oh my God, bro, what did you eat? Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. I didn't even eat that much. All I had was two bean burritos, a chalupa, six soft tacos, two chicken quesadillas, three plates of nachos, a crunch wrap supreme, I had a blue raspberry supreme, and a diet Mountain Dew. And that was just breakfast. You ate out, man, your ass gonna explode. Hey, did you hold my hand? The hell no, I ain't on your hand. How about you back to me and get out? Bro, why is you tripping? Cause you cross the lines, bro. You don't live here. All right, bro, damn. I hurry up. All right. Uh, oh, man, it's always something with black folk, man. Damn. Man, I... Damn, ain't nothing in here. Hey, hey bro, y'all ain't got no more food left over from Thanksgiving? Dude, I, I swear to God, I'm about to swing on this man, bro. Mmm. Damn, I ain't never had no almond milk this good. Bro, get out of my refrigerator! You do not live here! You can't just be walking around like you own the place. All right, D. Okay, dang. Let me just cut the oven off. Cut, cut the oven off? Why you cut it on? Oh, I'm about to make some pizza rolls. Sit your ass down! All right! Damn. Somebody got an attitude this morning. Damn. Damn. Drinking all my damn almond milk. You know I'm lactose intolerant. Damn. Man. Don't make no damn. What's up, fam? Who the hell is this? Are you on the... Oh, that's my boy Patrick. Hell yeah, he just got out of jail this morning. I told him to come on by. We, we, we just chilling. You feel me? So I told him to swing on through. You feel me? So, yo. Hey, D, something wrong? You invited a random... Oh, what you... Why the hell y'all both got your feet on my... You know what? Get out. You say what? Get out. Where we going? I don't give a damn where you going. I, 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 sw I swear to God. <laughs> I, I swear to God. Y'all got like five seconds to raise up off that damn couch. Oh, I'm gonna grab this lamp. And I'm gonna get to swinging. And I, 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 I put it on everything I love. Hey, hold up, bro. You must not know me. I just got out of jail 30 minutes ago. I tie your monk ass up like a rotisserie chicken and stuff you in the oven. Uh, I mean, I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all don't live here. You see what I'm saying? This is my house. What well, damn it, this is my house now. You lost your living privileges when you raised your voice at me. What you, uh. You know what? Matter of fact. Both of y'all get out. Hey, bro, can you talk to your friend? Hey, Pat, uh, I think we should go. Nah, I think you should go. Or do I gotta ask y'all again? Uh, nah, <laughs> we, um, 
We gotta go anyway. So yeah, I gotta uh clean my my bathtub. Yeah, that's right. Uh, let me help you with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Let's, let's, let's go do that. Who the hell is you? This my house. I'm hell, say no more. This here is the mortgage, this is the light bill, this is the water bill, this is the cable bill, and this is the car note. I believe these things belong to you, my good sir. Wait. Where you going? I Damn, kids. Slide on him, slide on him. Hell yeah. Yo, yep. D, yep. where you at, bro? They double teaming me. I right, bet, I right, bet, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm coming right now. I'm coming, I'm coming right now. <laughs> what the hell? Yo, come, come on, bro. Not right now. Oh, come on, man. D, where you at, bro? I'm taking damage. Bro, my game is lagging right now. I can't do nothing. Damn, man. Come in, damn, man. Bring your ass. I'm up against like six people. Bro, bro, I, bro I hear you. My game is lagging. What you want me to do? I can't do nothing. I want you to bring your ass. I can't. My Wi Fi acting up. D, I'm Oh my god, bro. To I told you, give me a second, bro. I can't do nothing. I'm coming. Give me a second. Damn, I told you my Wi-Fi tripping. Oh my god, bro. I'm dead because of you. It's not my fault, bro. My screen all pixelated. What am I supposed to do? Stupid ass internet. That's why I ain't playing with your sorry ass, bro. You selfish. Every time you go down, I help you. Bro, bro, you not listening to me, bro. It's not my fault. It's my Wi-Fi. I'm going to beat your ass, bro. Every time we play together, you be on some bull. Oh, it's my Wi-Fi. Oh, it's my Wi-Fi. Get some new Wi-Fi to you. You gonna pay that new Wi-Fi bill? I did. Ain't my fault you died because you ass. Yes, it is, bro. I call you. All right, bro. All right, I'm about to be, I'm about to be trying. All right, man. In that trash, man. Can't even play my game. Don't make no damn sick of your lying ass. It's not your fault, huh? It's not your fault. Man, how the hell you get my ass? I want something with you. Every time we play, it's something. It's my Wi-Fi. It's my Wi-Fi. The hell with that. Don't lie to that. Damn. <laughs> my bad, bro. I thought you was lying. I told you it wasn't my fault. Well, damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> so. You trying to run the back? You get your ass out. Don't get an attitude with me because I made a mistake. Mean ass. So, what exactly made you choose to work in fast food? Are you serious? Like, this was my dream job. Like, ever since I was little, I wanted to work at McDonald's. I get to flip burgers. I get to serve people. I get to help people. I get to end world hunger. Like, oh my god, come on, our mascot is a clown. Have you heard of Ronald McDonald? How much more fun is that? I must say, this is by far the best job I've ever had. As a matter of fact, kids, look, this is my official spatula. I'm the one in the back that make your burgers. So you ask me why I chose this job. <laughs> but really, this job chose me. I was made for this. I was born for this. If you want to live a fulfilled life of feeding people and ending world hunger, you come work with us. God damn it, I didn't choose it. I ain't had no choice. See, you might not understand this yet because you're too little, but when you get older, you're going to have this thing called bills. And the bill people don't care about how much money you got. They just want theirs. God damn it, I'm here to tell you, don't you believe these goddamn teachers for one second. I went to school, I graduated, I got a diploma, and I still couldn't find no damn job. So guess what? I have bills due. And guess who's hiring? McDonald's. The rent is due tomorrow. And guess who ain't got it? God damn it, I ain't got it. So I'm gonna say it again. I didn't choose this damn job. I was forced to take it. And the only reason I'm here right now is because they paid me to be here. Get my damn check. Oh, do you make a lot of money? Are you rich? That's a good question, kid. I actually am rich. I'm in the NFL and I play for the Charlotte Hornets. Charlotte Hornets? Yeah, we're the best we're team the in the world. Team. I actually made $10 million last year. Yeah, I, 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 I bought everything. I got a boat, I got a house, I got 50 dogs for no damn reason. I got a bike, I got five Teslas, I got a Bentley truck, I got a Lambo, I got 50 computers, I got 50 bathrooms, and I'm the only one that lives in the house. I'm that rich. Am I rich? Hell no, I'm broke. My first contract was for $10 million. I spent it all because I have no financial literacy. No one help me. Now I got medical bills to pay because I broke my back. I got 15 concussions. My eyes don't look straight. You see my eyes? Do y'all see my eyes? Look at me. And now I'm broke because I don't know how to use my money right. So am I rich? No. Why y'all think I'm here now on the football field? Because they pay me to come here because I'm that broke. So as a soldier, what is your typical work day? look like? 
Young so man, that is a great question. Every day I wake up and I put my life on the line for this country. And God damn it, I love every minute of it. Okay, kids, listen. Imagine Call of Duty, but in real life. I get to save people. Oh, I get to stay in shape. Oh, and I get to travel for free. We get to go on missions. We get to <laughs> jump out of planes. Oh, and kids, guess what? I get a gun. That's what I do. It's so much fun. You can look at me as a superhero. It's my job to protect you, to make sure you and your family stay safe. As a matter of fact, I couldn't ask for anything more. Every day is like a nightmare. Bullets flying everywhere. Bombs just exploding. God damn it, you ever seen a day about it? We'll get ready to see them every day. Cause every day somebody get dead. And I know what you're thinking. You probably thinking, oh well in the video games, if I die, I just come back to life. Well god damn it, it ain't like that in real life. You die here, you just get dead. It's over. All that fun stuff you see on Call of Duty and Fortnite and Apex and all that, False. I'm really in this. Let me tell you a little kid something. You think you can handle this? Can you hold a gun to a man's face? Can you hold it to it and look at him in the face? Can you do it? Can you do it? You can't be soft. Cause on some days, you have to pull that trigger. Bah! If you can do that, then come on. Every day is worth it. It take guts to do this. You can't be no sissy. Now who wanna sign up? You know what? I wanna be just like you. Can you give me some advice? Of course, kid. The first thing you gotta do is stay in school. All of you have to stay in school. If you wanna be a doctor, you have to stay in school. Make good grades, respect your parents, and you can be right where I am. I went to school for about 25 years, but it was worth it, because all I do is save lives now. Because without us, you would die. And my last advice I can give you kids is to eat your vegetables and always eat your fruits. That's how you stay healthy and you live a longer life. Oh, you want to be a doctor? No, you don't. I've been in school for 25 years. My hair is falling off. You see this? This is a wig. Y'all thought that was my hair? No. All my hair that fell off because of how stressful it is to be a doctor. You know, I try to save people's lives. I can't do it. I only save one person's lives. I had over 500 patients. I don't know what I'm doing. All that schooling was for nothing. I cry every time I wake up because I don't want to do this job. But it pays me well. So that's the only reason I'm a doctor still. I keep getting sued because I can't save nobody life. Do y'all understand how much it costs to go to school to be a doctor? My tuition is $15 million. You think I'm gonna pay that off? No! You want that debt? Huh? You want that debt? I didn't think so. Oh, I know. What is the hardest part about being a police officer? Well, you know, the hardest part to me is that, um, I can't save everybody. I mean, I would like to help everybody, but I just can't. Sometimes I'm late. I mean, sometimes I need days off. You know, I be tired. But if it was up to me, you know, I save everybody. Because that's just the kind of person I am. I want everybody to live and be happy. Like, one more thing is, I don't like to arrest people. I believe that everybody deserves a second chance. Just because you rob a bank don't mean you gotta go to jail. You made a mistake. So I guess if I had to choose your man, I would say, I can't save everybody, and I don't like arresting people. Because I believe that everybody deserves uh, a- Yeah, come in, Officer Mays. We got a gang shooting happening down the I street from you. Everybody. We need you to drop everything. Anyway, I wish I could save everybody, but I can't, because sometimes I'm busy. Little boy, you want to know what the hardest part is? I don't get no damn respect until I start busting heads around here. Oh, y'all think I don't know. Everybody talking about F12, F the pig. God damn it, I'm trying to save your life. You want to know what the hardest part of my job is? The hardest part of my job is not beating people upside the head with your damn bitty club. I don't get no damn respect. Tell me why I pull somebody over for a broken taillight, they start shooting at my ass. What kind of mess is that? I bet y'all get some goddamn respect, I start busting heads. Every single day, I wake up and put my life on the line for y'all. I try to help y'all, and y'all don't show me no damn respect. And he's sleeping. He's, you see what? boy? That's why I don't get no damn respect. So if you were doing what you're doing right now, what would you be doing instead? That's a good question. Well, if I wasn't in prison, you know, I'll probably be a police officer. Get those criminals off the streets. You know, I always wanted to do that, but I went in the wrong direction. And I grew up saying, I want to be a police officer, but I made the wrong choices. That's why I came here. To let y'all know not to make the wrong choices, all right? To you that asked the question over here, just know to do the right choices, all right? I wanted to be a police officer, but that didn't happen. I look at police officer every day being like, I want to be you, but I can't be you. Because I made the wrong choices. So make the right decisions, and maybe you can be a police officer. Shoot! I'll be doing the same damn thing I did to get in prison. I would have been stealing and selling drugs on the street. Mm -hmm. I don't care if they caught me, but if they didn't catch me, I'll be a whole millionaire right now, uh-huh. I'll be like Tony Montana. You know who Tony Montana is, boy? Yeah, he used to get all the money, all the girls. That was me. That was me till they caught me. And 2151, I'm going to be rich when I get out. I'm going to be doing all the most illegal stuff and be the richest person on the streets. Know that. You got any more questions, kid? So, how did your school classes prepare you for the job you have now? Well, uh, see, really, school helped me be a better boxer. See, because I had to use the calculations, like the, the, the quadratic formula, to, 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 to calculate how to punch people in their face. See, the truth is, everything I learned in school helped me to become a better boxer. Reading, writing, math, and how exactly did it help, uh, 
in many ways. See, because in my writing class, we had to like, you know, learn how to write sentences. So now when I punch, I write sentences. Bam! Bam! You see, you see how that works? Everything you learn in school is important. And then see, when it comes to reading, I, I gotta know how to read my opponent. You see what I'm saying? So I gotta be able to, oh, I read that he about to go left. Bow! You see what I'm saying? Little kids, listen to me. If you want to be a good boxer, you gotta stay in school. Because school is gonna teach you everything you need to know. Ain't that right, Miss Johnson? It didn't. I ain't never used a goddamn thing I learned in school I am. I ain't used no goddamn quadratic formula. I ain't used no slope intercept. I ain't used none of that. I ain't never had to use it, never will. Matter of fact, I tell you how school prepared me. School made me aggressive. Every time I came to them damn walls, I wanted to fight somebody. So now I get to whoop ass professionally. School made me this angry. Matter of fact, I got kicked out of school because every time I failed a test, I punched the teacher. Oh, that's an F? Bah! Oh, that's a D? Bah! Oh, that's a C? Bah! I used to kick ass. Ain't nobody teach me nothing. Ooh, I swear, every time I walk into school, I just wanted to. School made me aggressive. School made me angry. Matter of fact, I had a teacher tell me I wasn't going to mount nothing. <laughs> ain't that something? Ain't that right, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> you remember that? I know you remember that. What now you gotta pay for it? <laughs> oh, you know what I want? I want a job where I can have fun. Is your job fun? Is my job fun? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I woke up this morning <laughs> and God bless me <laughs> to wake up <laughs> and I'm here. <laughs> can I get an amen? I'm blessed and I get to tell people why God is good. And that's the funnest thing you can do in this life. I'm here to tell you, you can get saved today. You can get saved today. You can get saved today. And y'all know what? After life is over, we can go have some more fun in heaven. The devil tempts me every single day. No, this ain't fun. I'm out here trying to look good for all y'all. The devil make me look at stuff I don't want to look at. Actually, your teacher, yeah, Miss Johnson, I seen a big booty and I said, oh Lord, I saw it. It was the devil fault. Now y'all pray for me. Let's pray right now. Lord, I like Miss Johnson booty. Oh, you see, I did it again. And then people come to me complaining about their problems and what they dealing with. Do I look like Jesus? Thank you guys so much for coming to speak to our class. Do you have any final words or thoughts? Everybody, I just want you to remember that school is important. You cannot be successful in life without a good education. So stay in school and get good grades. Everybody get out now. They a bunch of damn liars. They do want to take your money. If you can drop out, drop out today. I got one more thought. Miss Johnson, let me get that booty. Come here, Miss Johnson. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was about to Will Smith slap his ass. <laughs> Lucky he the pastor. Oh, you wild, bro. I'm telling you, bro. I... What the hell? What? Dad! Dad, you good? Why is it so hot up in here? Daddy! No, wake up, Daddy! Wake up! Look at you got them hands off of me! What the hell wrong with you? What the? Dad, I thought you was dead or something. Why you laying on the floor? What? Well, hell no, I ain't dead. So why you laying on the floor like that? And big homie, hey, why I feel like we just walked into hell? Bro, shut up! You ain't hot? Anyway, my doctor told me I need to start exercising and eating right because Cause you getting old Because I'm getting up in age Up in age my ass He getting old I throw the damn couch over there Okay, 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 dad, but the question is Why you laid out on the floor? What? Well, well, originally I got down here to do some push-ups and some sit-ups and Hell, I guess I fell asleep Oh, see? See what? Old people do that. They just fall asleep on accident. God damn it, boy, let me tell you something. You got one more time to call me old before I stuff you in that damn VCR. VCR? Dad, what is a VCR? What the hell are you talking about? You know what a damn VCR is. Over there by my record player. Record player? Don't play that with me. You know what a damn record player is. On top of my boombox. What are you talking about? I'm gonna slap the hell out. You know exactly what I'm talking about. The damn boombox by the damn DVDs where the cassette tapes at. Uh... Dad, you sure you all right? Am I all right? What, 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 what the hell you mean by that? Ain't nothing wrong with me, something wrong with you. You all right? You all right? Yeah, I'm straight. Walk in. The hell out of my face. All right, Dad. Dang. Got time for this? Come on, bro. What I tell you, D, he old. Messing with my damn dreams. Megan and Stallion was about to give me a lap dance for you walked in. <sighs> hey, D, something wrong with your daddy, bro. <laughs> Trust me, bro. I know. Can't stand these kids. Talking about old. I ain't know what I'm experienced. Damn kids. Nobody old. 
Hey, but what you been up to, bro? I feel like I ain't seen you in a while. Hey, goddamn. I mean, you already know. You know what I'm saying? I've been in the lab. You know what I'm saying? Just cooking up some heat. You know what I'm saying? Like, the last single I dropped hit 100,000 screams. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, you serious? I mean, goddamn, I ain't never been on the count. What? You feel me? Like, so. Bro, that's crazy. Hell yeah. You know what I mean? I ain't saying I'm popping or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? But. You feel me? Like, hey, <laughs> hey, I'm gonna keep it a band. You feel me? Like, nah, bro, for real. Congratulations, bro. That, that's dope. That's a lot of streams, bro. I mean, I mean, goddamn it, it ain't that many. You see what I'm saying? What? Yes, it is. You right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, come on. Like, at this point, I'm the best rapper in the world. Hands down. You see what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I wouldn't say all that. I mean, I, just think about it, D. Who better than me, bro? For, like, for, I do this for real, for real, bro. Like, like, I'm your favorite rapper, favorite rapper. You feel me? So, like, who better than me? You see what I'm saying? <laughs> James, you got, like, Three songs, bro. But they all hit though, so it don't matter. <laughs> all right, bro. Like, D, I swear to God, bro, I really do this, bro. Like, I keep a studio in my back pocket, goddamn, just in case I got to drop bars on somebody. You feel me? <laughs> you a fool, bro. Oh, my God, man. Hey, goddamn, did somebody make a joke? Nah, I'm saying, like... What the hell you... Where all this stuff come from? I mean, yeah, goddamn, I, like, I'm just saying, like... You over there laughing. I'm trying to tell you, I do this for real, for real. Like, this, this really my life. Like, I really live by this life. You feel me? Like, I just told you, goddamn, I got 100,000 screens. You feel me? You over there, you know what I'm saying? Kiki, you know what I'm saying? Like, something funny. I ain't told no damn joke. You feel me? Like, like what, you want me to rap or something and prove to you that I'm the best in the world? No, bro, you ain't even got, I believe you. You ain't even got. Goddamn, they call me Big James. Because I'm the best in the world. These boys are so hot, I can take your girl. We go get some ice cream, I get a chocolate swirl. Anybody pull up, I hold them down like a twirl. Bah, bah, pull up at his face. <laughs> Better get up out my face before I hit him with the pepper spray. I can't have no weapon because my mama say I'm too young, but that's okay. I still put that thing to his face. Like, BJ ain't been the really good one. I can't get no damn sleep in my house. Well, I pay the bills, and let me tell you why. Cause my son and his non-rap skill having ass friend, Lil Brains, or his name is Big James. How about Big, I don't give a damn what your name is. How about that? Now, like I was saying before I was rudely interrupted, my son and his non-rap skill having ass friend, Lil Brains, are in here making all this damn racket, so I can't get no damn beauty sleep in my own house. Did this man just say beauty sleep? Like. Come on, bro. All right, Dad, sorry. James was just rapping, that's all. You doing what? <laughs> well, let me tell you something. I've been on this earth over 40 years, and I can tell you right now, what I just heard coming through this damn door was not rap. It was crap. Hey, goddamn. <laughs> I, I, I be down, you know what I'm saying? I know, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? It's your house. You feel me, but you gonna have to, goddamn, put some respect on my name. I don't know, I don't know if you heard. You see what I'm saying? I got 100,000 screens. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm one of the best rappers alive. You feel me? So, you know what I'm saying? You talking about, you talking about crap. You know what I'm saying? You better goddamn, you know what I'm saying? Watch your mouth. You feel me? If I, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> Boy, first of all, <laughs> I can guarantee the only thing I'm going to be watching is your body hit that damn flow if you don't watch who you talking to. Secondly, now, maybe my ears was deceiving me because they have a habit of doing that. But did you just say that you was one of the best rappers alive? I did, you know what I'm saying, and, you know what I'm saying, I, I stand by that, you feel me, like, matter of fact, you know what I'm saying, I ain't even one of the best rappers alive, <laughs> I'm a, you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna keep it a stay, you know what I'm saying, like, I'm the best rapper on the planet, what planet, planet Earth, which Earth, the one we standing in right now, matter of fact, bro, I, Big James, am the bestest rapper to ever bless the globe, bro, matter of fact, y'all ought to be honored to be in my presence, you know what I'm saying, on God, like, <laughs> boy, boy, you funny. You, you real funny. Funny. Bad, funny. Hey, you funny. Y'all just some haters, bro. Like, <laughs> look here. Look here, Big Lane. It'll be a cold day in hell before I hate on anything you got going on. <laughs> and secondly, let me tell you this. Hell been done froze over before they named you the best rapper on the planet. <laughs> Are y'all lame, bro? Like... I'm leaving, bro. Y'all don't even deserve to be in the same space as me, bro. Like, 
Hell, I ain't taking this, bro. Come on, bro. You ain't got to leave. It's not that serious. I ain't got to take it, bro. Like, I don't go. I let my hater be my motivator. You feel me? I don't got to. No, nah, here. I'm going to save it. I'm an OG. Goddamn, I do this. <laughs> yeah, that made my day. <laughs> Talking about he the best rapper on the planet. <laughs> you ain't even the best rapper in this house. I rap better than you. Ain't that something? Oh, you must not know, you forgot my name Let me remind you who I am OG Big J's, I'm the realest on the mic When I spit these flames You think you tough, old man? You really just lame On guard, I'ma keep it a stack You better watch your attitude before you really get smacked I knock them damn glasses off your eyes And hit you with a two-piece, then you really be blind Then you scaring people with that old ass belt But your breath so hot, it make my eyebrows melt Everybody else scared to stand up to you Well, goddamn, if girl ain't gonna do it, I do it myself Hold up, now sucker, you don't know about me, Cause I'm the real OG, big P.O.P. I pull the belt out and people get to flee in the scene Cause they know when I swing it's gon' goddamn sting You a buster, living with your mama And everywhere you go you just seem to bring drama You smell like ass and you look like a llama If you spit flames then I guess I spit lava Cause I'm just hotter, I will if I gotta Turn you into a genius, stuff your ass in a bottle What you need is a good old fashioned beating from a father I punch you in the chest and fold your ass like a dollar You better watch your mouth when you're talking to a savage Two glocks full of bullets, you can get both Round. If you don't know me, you better ask somebody I'm the P.O.P. and I be holding it down Hold up, B. James, on God, no cap Straight up, don't tolerate disrespect I can call up the game real quick They'll pull up and scoop your ass up like a fishing net You got everybody scared thinking that you tough But B. James, I ain't even really stressing, no Cause I'ma keep it a hundred I can't really be scared of somebody who first name is Hester, bro I'm about to really cook this man like a vegetable You think you hard, but you soft like a sex, you know I suggest you take a seat for your knees give out Cause you know that your bones ain't that flexible Cause you old, you old. And you know this and you know it. Your ass is old as Moses And you got four eyes And you still can't focus on the fact That I floated on this beat like the ocean I might be old But my rhyme's still cold Even when I hit a hundred I'ma still be dope These bones made a gold bomb in beast mode Tell you what Since you're broke I'ma give you free smoke You ain't even on my level You a waste of my time How you call yourself a rapper And you getting out rhyme By four eyed old man And I ain't even trying I be the big James your career done died Boy, I've been an OG since before you was around Big James ain't nothing more than a big clown For your mind, I will go and check the lost and found You forgot, I'm the real big papa and I hold it down Whatever, bro Yeah, that's right, whatever I mean, either way, like I still won What? So Boy, you a damn lie. D, D, tell the truth. I won, right? Uh. Hell no. Son, tell the truth. He ain't win a goddamn thing. I obliterated his ass, didn't I? I mean, y'all both did. Bro, oh God, bro. You old as dirt, bro. You can't rap. You garbage. Hold up. Now, wait a minute. Now, you got damn giraffe neck, bobblehead, cockroach looking, tight ass headband wearing, can't rap worth a damn little skinny beetle. Let me tell you something. Aye, I don't give a damn aye. who you think you are. You need to say you might you be in my house. And I will put six. this guy down. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't going to Do you understand that? I don't know who the hell you think you are in your old hood house. You know what I'm saying? I swing on But you in my house. You know what I'm saying? So I just want to tell you what. Say it to my pistol. Put my damn pistol at All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. How about this? How about. We let the people decide. I tell you what, how about we let the people decide? That's what I just said. You just said what? Like I said, he old. You know what? I, I don't have it with your ass today. I don't have it with your ass. Get your daddy, D. Get your daddy. Anyway. All right, family, comment below who you thought won, whether you Team Pops or you Team James, and let me know in the comments if you want to see a part two. If you do, let me know, and I'll make it happen, all right? So thank you guys for watching. I love you. I appreciate you. Also, again, this song is available on all streaming platforms, so if you want to listen to the song, if you like it, if you rock with it, go stream the song now. You know what I'm saying? So thank you guys. I love you. I appreciate you, and uh, I'm out. Peace.